Hey there, Mel Abraham here, uh, Thoughtpreneur Academy, thoughtpreneuracademy.com. Um, this one's going to be a little different, uh, and it's probably going to feel a little more like a rant than it really is, because I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm floored at what I'm hearing, and I'm talking about this, this kid, this uh, swimmer in Stanford, and his 20 minutes. Uh, of action, as his dad calls it. Uh, I got to tell you, um, you you do something monstrous like that, you take responsibility for it. You pay the consequences. Absolutely not. I, I, I cannot get over the fact that there are people out there supporting this young boy going out and taking advantage of an unconscious young lady. I mean, there, there's no, there is no possibility of making that right in anyone's mind. And I, and, I, and I look at this and say, you know, they want a website to support him. They want to reduce the sentence. They want to downplay the fact that he destroyed this young woman's life. I, I'm sorry. Sometimes we know, actually, there's a lot of times we know what is clearly right and wrong. And you, this lapse of consciousness, this lapse of conscience, if you will, there's no excuse. There's absolutely no excuse for it. And for these people to be out there justifying the actions of this kid because of, of what he did uh, was only the one time. One time is one time too many. And, and I, I just cannot understand the concept of it. Uh, and I know that this is a rant, but the bottom line is this. We are human beings. We do, we need to treat people with humanity. We need to treat people with decency. We know what's right and wrong in that inner, inner uh, uh, human a activity, in that inner human connection. You know, you don't take advantage. You don't force yourself. You don't uh, act aggressively towards other human beings. You treat them with caring. You treat them with consciousness. You treat them with connection connection you treat them with love and and so you know the fact that that this family is trying to justify it this fact that they're trying to downplay it the fact that that they're trying to say well in his 20 years of existence he only had laughs for 20 20 minutes that doesn't fly for me it, it doesn't fly for me in any way shape or form and that actually tells me why he felt it was okay to do it because he has a family that isn't prepared that isn't prepared to to allow their child to grow up and pay the consequences for the deeds that he did, and I think that this is 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 absolute ludicrous. So uh, I'm done with my rant, but I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you with this. I think that we ought to think about this: How are we treating people today? How are we reaching out? What are we doing to to make people feel more connected? To do the right thing, no matter what happens. To do the right thing in our worlds. You know, uh, kudos to the people that stopped the act to, to jump in and get involved and, and do that. And uh, may he, may he, I, I got to tell you, may he learn a, a, a valuable lesson and may that beautiful young lady, and, I, and she's, she's kept herself confidential, find a way through this tragedy to grow, to become better and to heal and, uh, and all that. So, uh, I, I just I just can't sit still and I can't sit quiet when it comes to something like this because I just don't think that there's any place for it. There is any room for it and there is any tolerance for it. So I, I uh, sorry for the rant, but I just couldn't keep it in any longer. I hope you have an incredible day and I look forward to seeing you uh, if you can share this. I think that this is an important message for us to, to, to realize is to take responsibility for our actions, know what's right and wrong and treat people with respect. Cheers. See you later. Bye.